or never going to lose by calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ud'uni astajib lakum. Wa qala rabbukum ud'uni astajib lakum. Your Lord is saying, call out to me. I will answer you. I will definitely answer you. How I answer you, that is my job, subhanallah. That is up to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, never lose hope in the mercy of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you do good deeds, you actually uh, are becoming closer to Allah. And this is why many times when we've just finished our salah or, you know, at the end in the qa'da of the salah, or sometimes we've just given a charity, we've just done some good deed, call out to Allah, ask Allah. That's a very blessed moment of calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps one of these episodes, I will go into the timings of dua and uh, to try and look into which time would be better for a person to call out to Allah. But I must say there is no fixed time. Any time call out unto Allah. I give you one example of seeking the forgiveness of Allah, which is also a blessed dua. It's a beautiful supplication. Don't wait for a season before you call out to Allah. People say, I've been very sinful. I'll wait for the time I go for Hajj. When I go for Hajj, I will definitely be able to call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness. You don't know if you're going to make it to Hajj. You don't know if you're going to make it to the Friday you're waiting for. You don't know if you're going to make it to the Ramadan that you're waiting for. So why are those blessed moments and occasions and places there? In order for you to repeat and reiterate that forgiveness that you sought from Allah but not in order to hold on and wait for that time. That means anytime you want to call out to Allah, call out to Allah. It might just be a moment of acceptance. I have a habit while I'm speaking, I say, may Allah forgive us, may Allah open our doors, may Allah grant us cure. Keep on calling out to Allah. You never know. The angels might say, Ameen to that dua as per the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's just amazing. It's something very powerful. So if you are to call out to Allah, don't wait for any moment. Call out to Allah now, here and now, with your du'as. Repeat them, repeat them as many times as you want. You call out to Allah, you repeat the du'a. And when the blessed moments and times come and the seasons come, if Allah has given you the opportunity to witness that moment, that time, that place, you repeat the same du'a again. You repeat the seeking of that forgiveness again. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will indeed grant you what you want. And if not, Paradise awaits you because those who have sought something from Allah and they may not have seen it here in the dunya, in this world, the Almighty replaces it with something better in the hereafter. Understand this. So your dua is never wasted. I am, I am one of those who constantly calls out to Allah with all my needs, with whatever I want, whether it's for myself, for others, for those suffering across the globe. Don't be selfish in your dua. Call out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will see the great, great blessings of that particular calling.